hello and welcome to another exciting edition of Tie Time with Ryan. And you know this by now, I'm Ryan. Well, we did it. We made it to episode 10. And as always, with every single episode that we do, Tie Time is handcrafted with 90% nonsense and 10% tie. And I say handcrafted, folks, because ever since that incident in Berlin, I can no longer operate heavy machinery. Yeah, apparently there are rules and protocols there, and you can't just borrow a backhoe and then drive it down the street singing show tunes and flipping cars. I honk the horn, what do you want from me? There was no there's no sign that said I couldn't do that. There, there's a sign. There's a sign now. There's a there's plenty. There's actually many signs now. Um, and I'm no longer allowed in Berlin. Today we're featuring the Vidalia knot. Another knot created by world-renowned tie knot maker Linwood Darkus. The Vidalia knot looks somewhat similar to the Eldritch knot, which as you know is the most regal of all knots. Uh, but the differences lie in the construction of the overall knot and the way that the loops kind of overlap one another. Now, I don't know this for sure, but I believe the Vidalia knot was named after the Vidalia onion, which is an onion originating in Vidalia, Georgia. Of the different variations of onions, it's somewhat on the sweet side. And you know what else is pretty sweet? Weddings. And it's wedding season. I just went to this one. That's odd. Look at that picture. Someone's got a secret. Yep, 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 there he is. And that secret is, I sometimes have arguments with myself, and I always lose. But getting back to Georgia, because I think this is a very interesting topic. Back in 1986, the state of Georgia, the legislator, uh, passed the Vidalia Onion Act of 1986, which trademarked the Vidalia Onion for Georgia, meaning that Vidalia Onions can only be produced in Georgia. And as we all know, since that time, the Vidalia onion is the state vegetable of Georgia. Everybody knows that. But that got me thinking about what other state-oriented things are out there. And there are some great ones. For instance, the state pastry of Wisconsin is the Kringle, which is this thing. I don't really know what that is. It looks like a really big donut slash croissant, but it looks delicious and I want all of it. Also in Wisconsin, the state fruit is the cranberries. No, 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 the cranberries. But then when you move things over to Texas, things get a little bit weird. Let's look at the state pepper of Texas. The state pepper is the jalapeno. That's not odd, but let's zoom out a little bit and I can't make this stuff up, folks. That's the picture associated with the jalapeno. Now I may not be the smartest guy, but I don't think that's what a jalapeno looks like. And things get weirder still. Let's look at the state cookie of Texas. The state cookie is the Mexican wedding cookie. That's great. That's cool. But again, I can't make this stuff up. And this is not in any way, shape, or form a political show, nor am I taking sides or trying to politicize it. But no joke, if you go on Wikipedia, this is the picture next to the state cookie. Honestly, I don't, I don't, I don't get the joke. I don't, I don't get it. But it's still kind of funny. I don't know. It's just it's just kind of funny. Why is that picture there? I think someone f***ed up. Yeah. Ranking time. So where does the Vidalia not stack up on our list? And this is a big one for us, folks, because now that we're 10 episodes in, we have filled out the top 10 list. That's big news. So the Vidalia knot is a very compact knot. I like the way that it looks. It's symmetrical. I appreciate that. It's also, uh, it's, it's got a good tuck going on, so it's not going to be loose and falling all over the place. It was surprisingly easy to assemble uh, of all the knots that I've done. So this one's going to rank pretty high on our list. It's going to edge out the Trinity knot just under the Eldridge for our new number two spot. Well, that's all the time we have today on Tie Time. Thanks for stopping in. You stay classy. So if you enjoyed the episode today, go ahead and give that like button a little tap a -roo. And if you want to get crazy, hit subscribe. Come on, it's free. I'm always interested to hear your thoughts on the show. If you liked it, if you didn't, leave all that in the comments section below. You stay classy. Wrong cranberries. Wrong. John. John, can we fix, can we just fire him? He doesn't know what he's doing. He doesn't, his, he has one job. It's to put pictures up. One job. You pay somebody $3 an hour, and you expect good work. And can we talk about this for a moment? 1986? 
that's what was important in 1986? It was not. It was clear, clear, clearly not. Many people got upset. Been handcrafting things ever since. This episode's going downhill.